Welcome back to more Hogwarts Legacy. All right, so at the um, well, in the last video, the second video, um, we had to attend the um, defense against uh, the dark arts, and uh, we also had a charms class, and uh, we completed both of those, and we also learned a new spell, um, the levioso, the levitating spell, and I forget what our next objective was. Uh, we'll get to it here in a sec. Um, shout out to my new followers if you're just now tuning in. Uh, thank you for subscribing. And um, if you like the content, please leave a like. And if you have any questions or you just want to, um, I don't know, compliment, go ahead and get down in the uh, comment section. I was supposed to put this out earlier. Um, I had an issue with the God of War uh, first video. Uh, there was a puzzle towards the end of the game I just couldn't complete, and uh, it was quite difficult. And um, I could have just really edited the video, but um, I didn't want to do that. So I stopped and um, did some research and completed it. Uh, well, I made an extension to that to that part. But anyways, all right. So this is where we learned. Uh, what the hell did we just learn here? What spell was that? What charm was that? What I? Revelio. It wasn't Revelio. Akio. How does he say that? Hold on, I have to let him. What spell is that? Akio? I think it's called Akio or something like that. Let's see. Does he have anything else to say to me? No. So I think it's called Akio. Let's see. Lumos. That's Lumos. Levioso. Levioso and Akio. Akio, okay, that's the name of it. Let's go ahead and head out. What was the next objective? Alrighty, so again, if we just scroll over here to this, um We can track the quest. Okay, Professor Weasley wants to see me in her classroom, which is off the Transfiguration uh courtyard. Located between the library annex and the astronomy wing. Hopefully she has word on replacing my lost supplies Lost supplies what the hell did I lose or is this finally a chance for me to go ahead and retrieve my wand right or my gear hold on Let's check something really quick Um, Because I did get additional does he have glasses? Okay, so this is everything you can actually... Oh, I do have gloves. Okay, that makes me feel more so like a wizard. I've got to get rid of these damn long socks. Where is the... Uh... Okay, that's neck wear robes. Okay, um... Change appearance, let's see. Okay, this is the dark road. This is the arc, dark arps road. This is actually what I unlocked because I bought the uh, deluxe version. Let's see. Let's actually put that on. I don't think. Hmm. A robe suited to those seeking great power, no matter the cost. So I wonder if these robes have different abilities. I don't. I don't quite know just yet. How in the world did I put away the goddamn long socks? There has to be a way. Okay, and let's just go ahead and do robe. Uh, let's put the hood on. And um, outfit. Oh, that's what it must be. It must be the outfit. All right, let's go ahead and head out. Oh, also, there was a way to change the pitch. Let's go ahead and do that now. So where was that at? It should be in settings. I found it earlier. I wanted, I wanted to go ahead and do it now. So there it is, pitch. So how do I uh, adjust the pitch of your character's voice? Is there a way to hear that? Mm. I don't know. I guess we'll come back to it. We'll find out. And uh, let's go ahead and take the um, let's take the hood off for just a second. Okay. All right. Let's continue on now. I should have did that earlier, but 
This looks pretty cool. So again, this robe that you see me here with, uh, this is quite exclusive. If you bought the deluxe Hello edition. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? I am. Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Hmm. Thank you, but it really wasn't all that challenging. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be a bit overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I find Professor Ronan's lessons a bit more challenging than you do. Hmm. I had to be a bit cocky. And I don't like that. That pit seems to be quite... I don't know. It sounds weird. And I know I can't be the only one who just... Uh, who may think that... I don't know. It sounds a bit weird. Let's just leave it where it's at. Alright, let's continue on. And I may need to do a little bit of exploring, but... um, Hold on. Let me track the quest really quick. I was supposed to do that a moment ago, but I didn't. All right, there we go. Now let's head out. I'm trying to put this wand away. Rebellion. Okay, well he's definitely not trying to put the wand away. I forgot to put it away. So I really want to know how accurate is the entire uh, Hogwarts building compared to the movies. Um, I'm truly uh, curious to find out. Um, is everything that we see here so far has has all of this been shown in the movies? You know. Okay, so I don't need to go that way. All right, so we're outside. What are you doing? Okay. Nice to see another brother that looks like me. What's good, bro? Yeah, that boy got the fade. Okay, he got the high top fade. With a, like a three. High top uh, ball fade. All right, so again, so there's another flu flame. Remember, the green represents the discovered locations and uh, the gray or red represents undiscovered. So here we go. Weasley after class. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. <laughs> ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Hmm. Hasn't Professor Fig said anything? No. Nothing more, Professor. I can't be a I snitch. See. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Okay, Professor Ronan mentioned that. What more? More work? Hmm. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now! Regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Hmm. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Hmm. Okay, what more can you tell me about the potion shop? What's a spell crab? So there really is an Olivant, uh, Olivant, and Olivander's here. Okay. 
I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Okay. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. Okay. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. All right, that seems to be everything I need to, uh, well, I don't have any, else, any other questions, so. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. All right. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Hmm. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. A butterbeer? All right, quest complete, Weasley after class. All right, so she mentioned um transfiguration magic. Now, for those of you who don't know, um, I am a studier and practitioner of magic myself. Transfiguration magic is basically the form or change of one object into another. Okay, so speak to the Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. Assignments are types of quests given to you by Hogwarts professors that, when completed, reward you with new spells. Oh, shit, I like that. I like that, I like that. So I will get more spells based on uh, the assignments I complete. Okay, the reward for completing your first assignment will be in the Mending Charm. Will be the Mending Charm Reparo, which is required to complete other quests. You can track assignments and their progress in the quest menu of your field guide. Okay, that's pretty cool. Again, so transfiguration magic is the change of uh, one form of an object, or the change of an object into one form into another. From one form to another, sorry. Okay, so let's see. Report to the professor's Ronin. And so that's pretty exciting. Why does that appear to be locked? Because I don't need to go there yet. So let's go here. Okay, Professor Ronan would like you to... Is that somewhere down below? Okay, I'm tracking the quest now. All right, there we go. I'll go. Uh, ah. So again, um, so the one that I'm currently wielding, it is not, uh, my own personal wand. It seems as though I'm about to retrieve that from Professor Ronan. Yeah, let's get it. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The Mending Charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Okay, I'll complete the task. What is the purpose of the task? Why must I first complete tasks to learn Ropero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. Mm. And these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I gotta comment on that. That was some occult level shit he just said. So again, he's basically telling you 
that learning, not only learning the task, but being taught it, you actually have to practice it. Practicing it is basically the lesson within itself. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. All right. So, uh, collect the flying paper near broken statues. Or uh, the broken statue. Collecting the flying page in the defense against the Dark Arts Tower. All right. And so, here I am. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. I think I just found it. All right. Repair, all right. Collect the fine print in the broken statue. That's not what I'm supposed to be doing. Now, how the hell am I supposed to capture it again? Am I supposed to hit it? I'm a bit confused. Uh, perhaps mind what you're doing there. What spell was that? Revelio. No, that's that's not it. Accio. Got it. Oh. Okay. And then there seems to be another one. Oh, I gotta go up to get that one. Okay. A flying page must be around here somewhere. It has like little uh magical Someone dust. That's a, that's what I'm um used to seeing. So to identify it. So it has to be somewhere in this area. There it is. If only. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm still learning the mechanics. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Okay. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Repero. So, we just learned it. And uh, Repero is basically a magical cast or spell used to repair broken things. The Mending Charm Repero can be used to mend broken objects and pieces of the environment. Okay, so... That's it! Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Okay. And he said... Okay. So I'm currently level 3. So if I want to practice this uh, repair or spell, I need to find that broken statue next to a water or something. <laughs> what the hell? Now what kind of glitch was that? I just like I don't think he was talking about this, was he? Accidentally levitated mm. Whoops. He was fine about it. Let's see. No, that's not it. There it is. Repair. Quite the nuisance. That can't be it. It says use. So those are sirens for those, oh no, those are actually um, mermaids and then those are the goblins and up there it looks to be a unicorn and I uh, want to say a wolf. Accio. 
Okay, collect field guides. So I wonder how many there are around here. Now if I collect those, I guess I'll actually uh acquire something. So I don't know, let's go through here again. I wanted to see something. Was he talking about this statue? Repower. I don't think so. I'm not entirely sure what statue he was talking about. But um Was it one over here? No, that doesn't look to be broken. No. Not sure what to do there. But uh let's continue. There's a chest somewhere. Let's see. Is there a chest out here? I don't know, I'm looking for something, but I don't quite see it. Oh, let's keep going. Uh, maybe I can't get... I don't think I'm supposed to get inside that room yet, so... Let's go to the next quest. All right. for me yep natty i hope i haven't kept you waiting long not at all professor weasley tells me that you need to go to hogsbeat you must be eager to have your own things again and to see the village i've been looking forward to it good shall we set off i intend to give you a first-rate hogsmeade experience Alright, so me and Nat are heading over to Hogsmeade to see the village, and she's going to give me that first-hand experience. You know I had to pair with a sister. And I am not racist. Well, geez, this is taking quite some time. I'm really excited about actually getting my own wand. All right. So this is kind of giving me the idea of that more so open world experience. All right. Okay, we're on Hogwarts ground. So follow Natty to Hogsmeade. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's wow. hour was Got perfect. The other day. I would not take another step until a house elf polished it away for him. That's a pretty cool road. I don't want to run too fast. I actually want to get a... Sheesh, yo, look at that. Look at that. That's crazy. I would not mind living here. Oh, 
I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Oh, okay. I just wanted to test. I wanted to make sure this was truly free world. And so it is. Okay, I just had to make sure. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. But it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Man, this is massive. Jeez, look at the open world. This, this is what I was waiting for. And this is what I was hoping for. This is massive. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lace wing flies in this area. Oh, what's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Oh, okay, so these, uh... What are they called again? Um, these lace wing flies can be used in potions. Okay, so collecting things like that along the way, I want to venture out just a bit. I think there's something back here I can uh, take. What are these? What happens if I... Oh. Moonstones. Okay, I had an idea. I thought... I think that maybe they'll come in handy a little later. So I don't want to stray too far off the path. Look, from the forbidden forest. Is there anything from here? Hippogriffs. I wonder if something started there. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Oh, wow. Sheesh. I've seen those in the movies before. Can I grab it? Yeah, I did. Okay, so we have leaping toadstool caps. Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs. Absolutely. Likely already named them too. France Hoof and Sugarfoot. What was that? I just seen something down there. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. It does uh, make it more alluring. There's Hogsmeade over the crest. Pass that ruin. Letting y'all know right now, I will be heading into the forbidden forest. We're going to explore that. Hell, we should have went there right now. Again, look I how massive spend this all is. I would all of my time exploring if I could. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Mm. I'm willing she to bet. more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. Uh, the Forbidden Forest, I'm willing to bet, probably has forbidden spells. I'm just gonna collect these along the way because I have a feeling I'm gonna I'm gonna need them for something. I mean, why not collect them while I have the opportunity, right? How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel safe? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. I don't think I missed anything back there. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. I wonder how much of that can I actually carry? Like, I'm stacking up over here. She called out to Mr. Moon. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Oh, dear. Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss Onai. Uh, turn and run. 
Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, ugly and airy and mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Hmm. Poor Mr. Moon, a Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. All right, so we made it to Hogsmeade. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweets you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Butter beer. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spell crafts, some seeds, and... A wand. A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Okay, Hogsmeade Village uh, is brimming with different sites, shops, and other points of interest interest that you can navigate using your fields guide map. Okay, let's open it up. Holy. And just the thing, this is just one area. Let's zoom out. Can we zoom out? That's just one area. This is just one area. Just one. I'm still going back to, uh, to visit that Forbidden Forest. Okay, visit tomes and scrolls, visit Ollivanders, visit J. Pippin's potions, visit the Magic Neep. I want to say the Magic Neep has to be the actual shop. So let's open up this. Uh... Okay. Okay, hairdresser salon run by uh, Calliope Snelling, Snelling that offers the latest hairstyles. So maybe I can get that ball fade. <laughs> maybe. Okay. Glad Drags Wizard Wear, a clothing shop for both the elegant and eccentric wizard. It has two additional locations in London and Paris. Let's go there first. I told y'all, I gotta get these damn long socks off me. There goes Nat. And it uh, should be right here. All right. There we go. A cup of tea? Hey, it is. All right, bro. We just gonna look at each other? Or am I in the wrong place? Okay, wait a minute. There's a bag back here. Hmm. Okay, I searched the bag, but I don't know, like... I don't want any more tea. Okay. So I thought I came here to shop. Am I stealing right now? Cause I'm just opening it and just pocketing some change. Uh. Can I not interact with him? We just gonna look at each other. Um.
so I can't purchase anything? What's going on here? Well, I thought I was gonna be able to, but I guess I can't. All right, I guess we'll just leave then. Let me get a pair of boots or something, my guy. Well, let me see something. Wait, maybe if I interact with this mirror. No, that doesn't work. So what's the point? He has something hovering above his head, which is an icon. Can I not interact with this man? I guess not. That's quite... Can't interact with that. Can I go through here? Okay. Alright, so let's visit the other places. Obviously, they're more important. Okay. Ollivanders. Brooms. Let's go here. Let's go wi visit the wand shop. That's kind of upsetting. I wasn't able to shop around for some threads okay right through here Merlin, blooming beard, not again. I'll be right with ah it's you um just a moment please uh, mm. hello sir I'm looking for for a new wand yes it's about time yes I about time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivander's, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here. Give this one a try. Well, go ahead. Swish. Hmm. How hmm. odd. Uh, once more. Come on. Really swish it. Oh, dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> no, I was thinking more so I'd get the pick. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. So these ones are color coordinated. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. I like the sound of that. Let's give this one a try. Yeah, that looks more wicked. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Oh, looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. I think you might be the one. Can I get a black Here. wand? Take it. <laughs> oh, I like that. Okay, this is a spiral ash brown. Oh, okay, now you can change the color of those. You know me. 
How intriguing. Okay. Dark gray. That doesn't look really dark grayish to me. It was this white. This is gray. Curious indeed. Okay, variations. Okay. And I have to purchase this? Okay. The length. How intriguing. Okay. All right, flexibility surprisingly swishy. Curious indeed. Supple, reason supply. All right, brittle. Solid. Hmm. How intriguing. I'm not sure what that really changed. Okay, the wood type. I don't see it changing much. Curious indeed. Uh, chestnut. Uh, um, where's Holly? How intriguing. Acacia, Blackthorn. Let's just go. Curious indeed. Let's go with Elder. Now what else? Okay. The hair of a unicorn that serves as the core of the wand known for producing consistent magic. Phoenix Feather. The feather of the phoenix that serves as the core of a wand capable of producing a great range of magic. Dragon Heartstring. Dragon Heartstring that serves as the core of a wand known for producing powerful magic. Well, you know I gotta have power. Okay. A Dragon Heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. So again, let's get another look at it. What do you think? Extraordinary. Hmm. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> I'm feeling that. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Oh, for sure. Okay, so, um... That's all for now. A straw sun hat. That's something I will not be wearing. Give that a little twist. So check out the new wand. I wonder if there's a way to like to get a POV of that. Protego. Okay. And let's see, what else is there to visit? Visit tomes and scrolls. Visit J. Pimpin's potions. Visit the magic neat. All right. Let's see. Uh, I'm currently at 44. I guess we'll go ahead and uh, try and finish this up, right? Okay. What else is there? Okay. Okay, we just left Ollivander's the tomes and scrolls. Yeah, I'm really feeling that wand. But again, I've got, I've got to get rid of these damn socks. I'm just not feeling that. It's so cringe. Uh, right through here, I guess. An inquiring mind. 
What's up, brother? Mr. Brown. Hey, that name fits you, bro. You look like a brown. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson, then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Okay. Tomes and scrolls. So let's... Supplies. Potting table with a small pot spellcraft. Unlocks the ability to conjure a potting table with a small pot. Use its pot uh, to grow all sorts of useful magical plants. Alright, so we gotta purchase that. All right. Unlocks the ability to conjure a small portion. And if you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my infantry. I don't have nothing to purchase any of this, bro. I'm mad, bro. So I can sell him something. Oh, this shit ain't worth nothing. Let's see. Okay, my defense goes up. Yeah, I don't have anything worth selling him. Okay. Okay, so is there anything else that he'll need me to do? What's this? Okay, and that's gonna allow me to go upstairs. Let's head up here really quick. Maybe there's something up here to get. Hmm. Gotcha. And again, once I capture those field guides paper pages, um, it does increase my level. I do get experience for that, or XP. Okay. And is there anything else? I don't think I need to talk to him about anything else. Nope. That's pretty much it. Uh, let's get out of here. Once I get more uh, coins, then I'll be able to visit his shop and uh, make some purchases on that spellcraft. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and... Well, should I end it here? Or should I do the other two? No, I got enough time. Let's visit J. Pimpin's potion store. Since this video is uh, it's going to be probably an hour long. I think we can knock that out in time. All right. Okay, those seem to be locked. Can't just be walking up into people's houses. Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. 
I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? All right. But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Okay. J. Pippin's Potions. Supplies. Okay, so... Everything that you see down here is currently unavailable. So I'll just have to get these two, which are zero cost. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so most of these can be actually found, so... And then again, let's see, uh, aids in healing and restores a bit of the drinker's health. I think I'll have this. Damn, I'm like dead broke now. Okay. You do risk potion. Wiggins potion recipe, new item unlocked. Okay, I got another scarf. Damn, so we just be opening up chests and just stealing, right? Because I did not ask for that. Hey, that's a nice um, cauldron. Alright, so I don't see anything else here. It's, I think that's all for now. Let's go ahead and uh, head to the last objective. We have to visit the Magic Neep. And uh, let's open up the uh, Fields Guide map. Where are you? I think it's over here. Where are you? Uh, okay. Is it over here? Yep, there it is. Okay, so it's right around the corner. Let's go ahead and head over there now. Okay, West Hogmeads. Has now been discovered. Well, hello okay. there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Okay. So again, all these items I'm being... Uh supply it with right now they should be free unlocks the ability to grow Disney in small pots okay do have a look around plenty of ingredients to pique your interest I'd wager yeah but I'm like all oh, bro so again well, that's everything better go and find Natty alrighty so the last thing left to do now is to go find Natty uh okay she's in the um Let's go ahead and go do that now. All right, so there's still quite a bit for me to kind of adjust to, um, as far as learning how to make spells, how to make more money to purchase spells. Oh, 
Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. I guess I better put my skills to use. Well, well, well. Oh, I need to dodge that. Are we weakening him at all? Keep acting. We have to wear him down. All right. Wow, did I just really try to pick him up? What was that? I was trying to beat him at his own game. I like his doomer. Woo! Oh, snap! And I better heal up. Woo! I forgot my difficulty is set. Pretty advanced. That's not gonna work. Look, he's faltering. Took him long enough. We need to make sure he stays that way. Whoops, my bad. Was that a forbidden spell? Goodness! A second troll! Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard! Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, Use Officer. Period, Singer. Yeah. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. I'm still going to need a bit of a repair the damage. Oh, hello okay. there. A, a moment if you would. I will see what he wants. All right. Repair her. Oh, wait. Repairer. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. 
And I think, yeah, this over here. That's cool. Lucky they didn't do more damage. Okay, and one more thing. Where was that? Might have been somewhere over here. No? It might be staring me right in the face. Y'all gotta y'all gotta understand I'm blind. No, not seriously. I'm Repower. There we go. Alright, let's go back and talk to Nat. The hell? We were just talking about oh, you. Here we go. Now I can get out of these damn clothes. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Appreciate that, my guy. And I'm taking that. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? If it'll get me out of these damn high socks. All right. Let's preview the gear really quick. Okay. I like the robe. I'll go ahead and purchase it. It's actually pretty dope. Okay. You've received a new piece of gear. Time to equip it. But they still haven't shown me how I'm going to switch these damn socks off. I want these socks off, bro. Select the cloaks and robes gear slot. Okay. Cool. All right. Okay. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butter beer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. Okay. I sell even more battle-worthy items. Should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. Okay, we seem to have made it for a butter beer. Now, assuming that we're not over the age of 21. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <sighs> Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. 
Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Hmm. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. What the hell? Nah, man, why her voice like that? No, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. Nah. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. But a beer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down nah. a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Oh, oh. oh time lane. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butter beer forever. Bro, we can go outside and have a fade. What's up with Serona? Seronis? Sir, Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Damn. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. Yeah, we're gonna do that I later, alright. Now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Alright. And that I will do. Well, there seems to be a lot going on. And her saying that that guy is gonna be actually worse than any troll I might encounter. Yeah, he's gonna be something I need to watch out for. Alright, guys, so this is where I'm gonna end it for part three. I'll be back later to pick up for part four. Thanks for tuning in. I'm out.